Well, Mark Mark Feld has gotten, uh, you know, he deserves a lot of publicity because he was extremely helpful. But he was, uh, he was in terms of, uh, he was, he was uh, nudging and uh, directing and pointing the reporters in one direction, in certain direction, rather than another. And that was the great value of, uh, of uh, Deep Throat. He wasn't saying, you know, you go to 13th Street and uh, look at the upstairs in a window and get in there, and then behind the, the something, uh, there you find a great uh, source of information. It wasn't that kind of precision and detail. I know Woodward and Bernstein went to, uh, or Woodward anyway, went to Deep Throat and said, is this a piece of information or a profitable area? And uh, if he confirmed that, that kept Woodward's, uh, uh, you know, nose down on, on the on the case. Uh, whereas if he said, "Don't go there, go here," uh, it was a great time saver, among other things. I, I mean, I didn't know uh, uh, his name until uh, after the case was over, after Nixon resigned. Uh, that surprises me now. I, I would not have done that. Uh, in in my current, uh, if I was still editor, I would have de- demanded uh, to know, and I, I'm wondering why. I've often wondered. I think uh, the, the 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 thing that's most important to me, rather than the identity of the source, is the whether he's right or not. And uh, Deep Throat was right from beginning to end, and uh, so and Woodward and Bernstein were not making mistakes, uh, so the the accuracy of their stories were never called into question. They really weren't. I mean, they were smeared by, by certain people, and uh, and uh, you know Richard Nixon in that famous uh, uh, first statement saying that he couldn't talk about it because it involved uh, because uh, uh, Watergate involved matters of national security, which it was baloney, just baloney. <laughs>